Welcome to Postal Flight Academy, and this is Getting Started for Admins, Account Settings. This guide will help you understand the options for account settings and the best practices for each. Let's go ahead and take a look at the account settings by dropping right into Postal. Now that we're in Postal, let's click on our Profile menu, Profile, and then Account Settings. Customization and privacy go one step further in the account settings area of the Profile menu. Let's start with Company Info. Here at the top right, we have the account name, the display name, and the primary company address. These can all be edited, but we recommend making sure that the display name it matches the account name. The display name is a customer facing name and will show up in your emails. You can also update your address here. Next, let's look at configure user access. First, users can view all items. When this is toggled on, your users will have access to the entirety of the marketplace. Now, this doesn't mean that they can approve items, just that they can see all items and request items. When a user requests an item, the item request email recipients dictates which admins get an email to approve those items. The same can be said for users can view all events. Again, users will not be able to approve all events or request that an event take place but rather they can request that their admin approve an event. The other options available to us are users can bulk send items and users can use Swag Creator. Next, let's move on to account configurations. Magic Link Auto Approve. If you have approval set up for your Magic Links, meaning that items can't be redeemed until you've approved the Magic Link, then this will come into play. Now you can choose to never auto approve, you can choose to auto approve after two business days, five business days, or 10 business days. We recommend that if you're approving magic links, you may want to do this manually. However, if you choose not to do it manually, you have these options available to you. Next in account configurations, we have redact contact addresses. When this is toggled on, it will create a blur effect over all of the addresses on the contact card. This means that your users will not be able to see the addresses of the contacts. They'll only be able to see their first and last name and email. This applies only to users. Admins are able to see contacts addresses regardless. Next, let's move to support access. By revoking access immediately, you'll flag to our support team here at Postal that you do not want the Postal support team to have access to your uh, account at all. Our team will be unable to assist or, or look into anything into your account when this access is revoked. And finally, let's look at budget timeline. By default, the budget timeline is set to follow the calendar, but this can be adjusted to be offset by a certain amount of months or as 90 day quarters. This will impact when your quarterly budgets reset and various reporting filters. So if you're thinking about your budget as quarterly, this will affect that. And that is the account settings. Thanks for joining us at Pulse of Flight Academy and happy sending.